Topping our news, Tulsa police officer Betty Shelby takes the stand in her own defense today. She's charged with manslaughter in the 2016 death of Terrence Crutcher. Shelby testified about her training, her career, and what happened the day Terrence Crutcher was shot. News on 6's Lori Fulbright is on the scene at the Tulsa County Courthouse. Lori? Hi, Craig. Well, Officer Shelby was on the stand for about two and a half hours today. She told the jurors she had never had a subject act the way that Terrence Crutcher did that night. And she says by that she means putting his hands in his pockets and straight up in the air, putting his hands in his pockets and straight up in the air, ignoring every single command she gave him and walking straight toward the vehicle and never saying a word to her. So she says the reason she shot him is because she believed he was reaching for a gun inside the vehicle and he was going to kill her. She said everything she did that night followed her training. It was a very spirited cross-examination when the assistant district attorney Kevin Gray got up to ask her questions. So here are some of the quotes from that exchange. She said um, she said she followed her training. And he said, are you trained not to kill someone until you have evidence they need to be killed? And Officer Shelby replied, I am trained to use the force necessary to handle a threat. And all indicators were he was a threat. And then Kevin Gray asked her when his hands were in the air and he was walking away from you, why didn't you tase him? And Officer Shelby said there wasn't time for less lethal and that she only only fired her gun, not when his hands were in the air, but when he reached into the vehicle. And then he asked her if Terrence Crutcher's death was his fault, and Officer Shelby replied, yes. She said, I did everything I could to stop this. And the DA said, everything but use your taser. And she said, my training did not allow for a taser at that point. Earlier today, before Officer Shelby took the stand, a couple of officers took the stand and they testified that they had both arrested Terrence Crutcher in the past for resisting arrest. One of them was an OSU Tulsa officer and said he even pulled his rifle on Terrence Crutcher and that he refused to follow any of his commands, refused to follow his show his hands, refused to get on the ground, and wouldn't stop walking away from him. But ultimately, that officer tased Terrence Crutcher twice to get him into custody. So the DA, uh, the DA of course, did cross-examination on all of today's witnesses. The defense tells me they have about three more witnesses to call. After that, the judge will read instructions to the jury, and then there will be closing arguments, and then it will go to the jury for a verdict. And of course, we will be here for all of it. If you want to see details about all of the testimony, go to my Facebook and Twitter pages. On the scene, on the story in Tulsa, Lori Fulbright, News.